What's up everyone, Ninja Hawk here. Today's video I'm going to be doing the top 5 best snow maps in video games. Now I forgot to mention a rule about last time for my video which is it can't be snow games so no Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games or let alone any snow game in mind because that's just not a fair comparison. But otherwise yeah it has to be games that focus on other things outside snow but just happen to have the best snow levels so without any further ado Let's get into the action. Coming in to the number five spot, this might be a Halo reference to the name of a particular kill. However, it's a Tony Hawk name for a level on the exclusive to the DS version, which is an incredible level, Kilimanjaro. The level has a perfect start and then also gives us the awesome bridge area. Combines both skateboarding and snowboarding. You may be wondering why I put it in the list because it's an awesome level. And it combines the two together. And yes, this is fully eligible because it actually plays like what the game is designed for, which is skateboarding, which is what the Tony Hawk series is known for. No, we don't talk about motion and shred, because after all, this level shreds them out of the park. But anyhow, the only reason why it's not high on the list because I found some better snow levels in some games. But hey, I mean, after all, this level shreds both Tony Hawk Shred and Motion out of the park. Like the Phoenix, I have risen from the ashes. And into my fire, you shall fall. Coming into number four spot, we have Lockout. It also goes on the names like Blackout and then back to Lockout again. However, I like the Halo 2 version the most, uh, but I will say I love the Halo 3 version. Um, I really don't need to talk about this little because it's just that good and perfectly crafted. Um, to put it in, in a very small amount of words, because I don't need to spend too long here, it's simple, effective, very small, and there are many ways to traverse the level. Any player can play at any skill gap. And, that's what generally makes it on this list is you don't need to be a professional just to be good at it. Altogether, if you're a beginner at Halo, I absolutely recommend this map. But anyway, let's move over to the number 3 spot. Oh, it's an interesting choice. Coming at the number 3 spot, we have one of my favourite Underground 1 levels, Moscow. Not the place in real life because of, you know, it's horrible thing that's been happening since this year. No, 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 we're talking about the game and it's an incredible level. Ready to see some magic? Let's go. And by the way, you could do it at any of these things. Hell, you can even wall ride, no doubt about it. But man, I, I know I missed that combo there, but then you can trick off of that and then go to, well, that building here and then make it over there. And of course, the, the coolest part of this level is just the amount of combos I can do. Of course, I know I'm doing a crap job at them, but hell. No, actually, crap job, I mean now good, and I didn't know I found a gap. But man, that, I, didn't, I didn't even notice there was a gap. It, that's another thing I like with this level is the amount of creativity that went into it. And those pipes there, they actually lead to something. Hell, I wanted to do a longer combo here without even, like, knowing. And, uh, and of course, that car can be tricked off of. Literally. And, um, and, yep, jump here. I can combo over that thing. And, <laughs> wow. Just, just, just that 40 combo there. And this can also be used towards combos too. And as for the tanks, you would think these are absolutely useless, but no, you can ride on them. As in like both that and even just the, um, this right here. And it's not like scripted only. Anyone who's played a Tony Hawk game knows exactly how good this level is. It's full of everyone's favorite creativity, either a half pipe player, or maybe a, a um, grinding player like myself, especially with those tanks. I mean, I love grinding the tanks, and they can even be used for outside just the tank nose too. You can literally like go and actually grind up on the side of the tank, and 
this there's just a bunch of different ways you can you can traverse the level and that there really is no better way to sum up than well the gameplay that you're looking at while I'm pretty much talking. I mean, the amount of stuff you can do is 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 what makes it so good. But it also happens to have the coolest level design ever, and well, topped it off with well being any skill gap, but also allowing the pros to pretty much blitz the level. Yeah, um, that's that that is saying all the world and. You know what, I'm going to let this clip play f for you here, where I actually pull off a certain special move, but in general, before, before I go to number 2 spot, is I could never stop playing this level. In fact, I actually had a hard time stopping because I wanted to play it. Yes, it's that good. I, I had a hard time stopping playing it, but anyhow, Let's play the final clip, and uh, I'll see you when I get to the number two spot. Oh well, but you get what I mean, like, the amount of tricks I could do- Oh wait, I didn't even know you could do that! Oh, did I seriously just do that? Did I just do a Mac twist off of that? No, I'm gonna just do it down here too. Gee, okay, that was unexpected, and ladies and gentlemen, now you know why I absolutely love this level. At number two, we have my favorite Halo 1 level, but also one of my favorite Halo levels of all time. And if I'm correct, this, yeah, actually, this is my second favorite Halo map, Sidewinder. And what makes it special? Well, a bunch of things. I can camp wherever, I can go wherever, and I love seeing who gets the first shot on the tank. And of course, there is the Warthog and the Ghost. I know the Rocket Hog is only because of MCC, they like added it in a while, but usually that wouldn't be there because I played it well back on what everyone played on, which was console. Going through the teleports never gets all and and you know what truly makes me happy about this map? It's impossible to spawn trap because there is so many ways that you can counter spawn trapping. Yes. This map pretty much counters spawn trapping, which is something not many maps in video games can do because a lot of them you could just easily be dominated the moment you spawn in but no this map there is just so many different spawns that you can't keep track on it and hell I could even be camping on a rock or next to the rock and you wouldn't even notice um, overshield of course and with the active camo hell yeah I mean who doesn't want that Flamethrower there if you're in, well, PC or MCC, but in the original there's nothing, but who cares, I mean, not like you'll really need it anyway, because, I mean, the Magnum is pretty much your saviour. Uh, to, 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 to sum up Sidewinder, the half circle that always works, and uh, it's always my number one pick. Whenever I play Halo 1, it will always be my number one pick map. We have to play it first, like... I don't care about Battle Creek, no, 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 this, this is the map first, then Battle Creek and whatever. I, I always say, no, let's start Sidewinder first, and everyone's like, yeah, let's do it, and we always have fun in the end, and as a result, well, I mean, <laughs> how can you get good, any, any more better than good old Sidewinder, I said Sidewinder, <laughs> oh, wow, gee, wow. But in, in, in general, uh, I can perfectly sum up Sidewinder, a map anyone can play. And there is only one thing that, that's number one that beats this level, and it happens to be my favourite snow level to ever exist. Can you guess what it is before pressing, looking at number one? Well, you can take your guesses, but I'm going to move over to the number one spot right now. Coming into number one spot, we have DK Snowboard Cross, sorry, DK Summit Snowboard Cross, I almost said that wrong. Um, this is one of my favorite Mario Kart levels of all time, and this is my favorite snow level in Mario Kart of all time, second being DK Pass, but however, I'll save that one for another top five, because I'm going to do a top five best snow levels too, but however, we're going to focus on the first one, which is going to be Summit, and wow, man, it's awesome. Um, the, the amount of fun and just such a linear level with those half pipes and 
in general, you can you can do some cool shortcuts on this map, which I didn't even know that speedrunners do it, and even people that are experienced enough at the game, which I never saw them until last year, and I was like, what? I mean, this gameplay clip will literally show you what I mean. As for the um, shy guy, literally the one he, he passed by like a few seconds, I could not do that at all. I, I would always fail because I'd be in the shy guy's way or behind it hitting, you know, with the hurt box, but uh, or hit box, but uh, in general, there's really nothing else I can say other than this is the map that I play with whenever everyone comes over. I at least play this once in. It really shows, I mean, the level design is perfect, and so is the snow level in general. And and while it may be the linear, one of the linearest uh, Mario, Mario Kart tracks of all time, but it's a good linear. In fact, my favorite levels in video games are in general linear. But man, this is a perfect example of good linear stuff, period, and, and in, in general, my favorite snow level of all time category, hell yeah, this is definitely my number one spot and I don't regret a damn thing because I absolutely love this track. But anyhow, that's pretty much it for my top five, but um, I've got a little video that I'm going to do after this that, that I will explain some other things. So thank you all guys so much for watching my video and have yourselves a Excellent day, everybody, and I'll see you all until whatever's my next video.